Welcome to Vivid Brains. Today we are dealing with class 11, uh, one, class 11, 1B straight lines, uh, that is the chapter uh, straight lines in third chapter in that 3A exercise we are observing. Look at the first question. The question goes like this. Find the slopes of the lines x plus y is equal to 0 and x minus y is equal to 0. I'll give a brief introduction about slope. What is a slope? Slope is nothing but this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis, okay? So, uh, it should be a non-vertical non line. The line should be non-vertical line, which is making an angle with x-axis, no doubt. And it should be positive direction of x-axis. Yeah, this is positive direction of x-axis. And it should be anti-clockwise direction like this anti-clockwise direction if you take like this then that can be called as a slope let us observe the first equation x plus y is equal to zero this is our equation in that equation we know the general form of a straight line what is the general form of a straight line general form of straight line is x plus b y plus c is equal to zero yes no doubt so can we compare, we have to compare this with our general form of straight line, compare this with ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. If you compare, you will get a as 1 and b as 1, okay? Now, we know the formula for slope, right? What is the slope? Slope is given by minus a by b, that is minus 1 by 1 upon 1, which is equal to minus 1. So next, you go with the same procedure with the second equation. Now compare this with, that is slope is equal to, that is m. Slope is, slope is equal to, m is equal to minus a upon b. That is here, the coefficient of x is 1, that is minus 1 by my, uh, b is minus 1. So it becomes positive 1. So this is our, this is our, answer for the solution for the first question. Let us move to the second question. Find the equation of a line containing two points. So what are the two points here? 2 comma minus 3 and 0 comma minus 3. Two points are given and they are asking us to write the equation. We know the two point form, uh, two point form of equation. The two point form of equation is y minus y1 by y1 minus y2 is equal to x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2. Okay. Now, so this is x1 and this is y1 and this is x2 and y2. Let us take like that. Here, x1, y minus y1. y minus y1 is minus 3 by y1. Again, minus 3 and y2. y2 is minus 3 which is equal to x minus x1 is 2 and x1 x1 is 2 minus x2 is 0. So what do we get? y plus 3 upon minus 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus 3. This becomes 0. Okay. And uh, which is equal to x minus 2 upon 2. Right. So if you cross multiply 2 times y plus 3 is equal to 0, right? 2y plus 6 is equal to 0. And if you divide with 2, whole equation, you will get y plus 3 is equal to 0. So this is our equation, y plus 3 is equal to 0. So you have to remember the two point form, then you can do these kind of questions very easily. Let us move to the next question, third question. Come on. The question goes like this. Find the equation of the line containing the points. Again, the same question, same kind of question. That is 1 comma 2 and minus 1 comma, 1 comma minus 2. These are the two points. They are asking us to write the, <coughs> sorry, to write the equation for the line containing these two points. So the same thing. This is x1 y1, x2, and y2. So y minus y1 is 2 by 
sorry y1 is 2 minus y1 minus y2 that is minus 2 which is equal to x minus x1 by x1 is 1 x1 minus x2 so what do we get y minus 2 by 2 plus 2 this becomes 4 okay x minus 1 x minus 1 by 1 minus 1 which becomes x minus 1 upon 0 <coughs> sorry x minus 1 into 4 is equal to 0 so 4x minus 1 4 x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. This is our <laughs> equation. Let us move to the next question, fourth question. Find the angle which the straight line y is equal to root 3x minus 4 makes with y axis. This is very, very important with y axis. With which axis it is making an angle, you have to observe that. That is very important. What is the equation here? Root 3x <laughs> minus 4 is the equation which is given. Okay. And whenever uh, here the equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, right? So what is m? m is nothing but the slope. M is nothing but tan theta also we know. Yes. So can I equate with this tan theta is equal to root 3, right? So tan theta is equal to root 3 means then for which uh, for which angle the, uh, the ratio is the value is root 3. That is nothing but tan, tan 60, yes, root 3. That is tan pi by tan pi by 3 which is equal to root 3. So we got theta as pi by 3. And we know uh, we know that uh, what is the slope? I already explained that it is making the non-straight line, which is making the in the positive direction of x-axis uh, with the in anti-clockwise direction. So it should be it should be making an angle with x-axis. So this this is making an angle with x-axis, no doubt, right? So angle with x axis is angle with x axis. This is pi upon pi by 3. So we know the angle between x and y axis, no doubt it is 90. Okay. So with x axis it is 90. Then angle with y axis we can easily find like pi by 2. That is 90 minus pi by 3 because it is making with y x axis pi by 3. And y axis they are asking the angle between them is pi by 2 general uh, <clears throat> angle. So, what do we get? So, pi by 2 minus pi by 3 that is 6 and 3 pi minus 2 pi, which is pi upon 6. Okay, pi upon 6 that is 30 degrees. So, it is making an angle with 30 degrees. You can observe. No doubt this is 90, this is 90 and this is, <clears throat> this is making an angle 30. So it should be 960, right? Angle with the positive direction, pi by 3, sorry, this is 60 and this is 30, okay? Yes. Let us move to the next question. Now look at the fourth question. The question goes like this. Find the angle which the straight line by is yeah it is done sorry fifth question now. question number five write the equation of the reflection of the line reflection reflection of the line x is equal to one in the y axis in the y axis now let us take this as our uh, Cartesian plane okay uh, let us take AB is our line. So the line x is equal to 1, no doubt we know that x is equal to 1, x is equal to k is a line always parallel to y axis. Yeah, but it is here x is equal to 1. So it is one unit distance from x axis and which is parallel to y axis. So this is our line, AB line. Okay, 
this is our line AB, x is equal to 1, meaning they are asking us to write the reflection. So, when, uh, when do we see the reflection? The reflection should be seen in the opposite side, okay? Opposite side of the given line, right? So, it should be in the opposite side is, this is in positive side, right? Positive side. Why? Because x is equal to positive 1 given. That's why it is in opposite positive side if you take this as horizon okay and now it should be in the same distance because uh, i have found somewhat in different distance let us observe it should be the same distance from horizon but it should be in the opposite direction if it is in opposite direction, the positive direction opposite is negative right so x should be a negative direction right so what do we write Equation of AB, equation of AB here given as x is equal to 1, right? So, if you take this as A dash and B dash because it is a reflection. So, equation of AB, A dash, B dash should be x is equal to minus 1, yes? So, what is the reflection about x axis, reflection about y axis they ask so what do we write the equation now because can we write x is equal to minus 1 means x plus 1 is equal to 0 this is our equation of equation of a reflection of line x is equal to 1 in the y axis so reflection you have to remember that the opposite direction the opposite direction of the given one if it is positive, it becomes negative, likewise for so on. Okay? Yes. Let us move to the next case. Sixth question. Find the condition for the points A, 0, H, K and 0, B where A, B not equal to 0. Okay? Now, in this, you consider the collinear. Collinear means uh, when do we say that the three points are collinear? If they lie on the same line, right? So, when when they lie on the same line. So, here AB, suppose I am taking AB line like this and AB is somewhat like this. AC is somewhat like this. So, do they lie on the same line? Because it is, this A, A should coincide with A only and it should be on the same line, right? So, A and B, so, A, 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 B line which is having the slope same as that of the A, C line, right? A, C line. Then only the two lines, then only the three points are collinear. Collinear means co. Co means same. Linear, line. That is lane. Line A. Linear means line. So, co means same. So, the three points should lie on the same line. That is the meaning. Okay. Now, let us observe. Here, three points are given. What are those? A comma 0 is one point and H comma K is another point and the third point is 0 comma B. These are the three points. Okay. Now, let us take A of B of A. A is 1. A of 1. A comma 0 and B h comma k and c is 0 comma p. Consider like this. Let us find the what we, um, what we said. Slope of a b is same as slope of a c. Then this a c this is our a b line. This is our a b line. So a b line a c line also this c point can, uh, can sit on the same line. No problem. But a a is the same point, no? So, in order to sit AC on the same line, then the slope of the these two lines should be same. So, we are finding the slope for that. So, slope of AB. What is slope of AB? We know the uh, when two points are given, then slope form. Slope form is M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 by x2 minus x1 right so here these are the two points if you consider x1 y1 and x2 y2 okay 
and y2 y2 is k minus y1 y1 is 0 by x2 x2 is h minus x1 is a okay this is the slope of ab similarly we find slope of ac what is slope of ac same formula you apply the same formula that is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 which is equal to y2 of ac you have to consider a and c points now okay this is x2 and y2 you consider and y2 is b minus y1 is 0 by x2 is 0 and x1 is a so what do we get b upon a that is minus can we equate this two because uh, they are asking us to find the condition condition and uh, condition to be collinear co co so slope of a b that is k by h minus a is equal to minus b by a okay now let us uh, um, cross multiply this so what do we get which implies h minus a times minus b is equal to k a okay then minus h b plus a b which is equal to k a and then k a plus h b is equal to a b or you can say if you divide with a b on both sides if you divide with a b on both sides what do we get so we are going to get a slope intercept form right so let us uh, divide with a b on both sides so a b by a b which is equal to k a by a b plus h b by a b okay a a cancel and b b cancel so what is, what is the left k by k by b plus h by a which is equal to one that is you can put in a normal standard form like h and k if you keep in order then h by a plus k by b is equal to one this is our equation when this is our condition condition for the for the lines for the sorry for the points to be collinear when three points are given so what is that condition slope of ab is equal to slope of ab why abc are collinear when abc are collinear slopes are equal okay that you have to consider ab and ac slopes not ab and bc you see Suppose I am taking AB is line, this is straight line, and BC is another line. Okay, so this BC may be like this. Okay, uh, the slope of uh, AB and BC may be same, but ABC are not on the same line, right? So in order to make it on the same line, we have to observe that slope of AB with respect to first point. You have to consider the remaining two points. Okay. Here, let us move to the next question. Write the equations of the straight lines parallel to x axis at a distance 3 units above the x axis. 3 units above the x axis. Straight lines parallel to x axis. So, if any straight line parallel to x axis means parallel to x axis means y is equal to k is the uh, line form, right? So, which is at a distance three units above three units above x-axis. So, this is our x-axis, right? This is our x-axis. So, three units, say one, two, three units, three units above x-axis. Okay, <clears throat> three units above x-axis. Then, what will be the equation? Equation of a straight line parallel to x axis which is at a distance 3 units above 3 units y is equal to k means how much what is that k is equal to 3 no here so equation equation of straight line equation of straight line straight line parallel to x axis parallel to x axis at a distance which is at a, at a distance which is at a distance which is at a distance of three units 
above x axis above x axis that is above x axis means it is positive right so that's why we are taking k as positive here y is equal to plus 3 y is equal to plus 3 y is equal to plus 3 means y minus 3 is equal to y minus 3 is equal to 0 is the equation in the same way at a distance 4 units below the x axis now if you observe the figure 4 units below x axis right so 4 units this is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 okay below below x axis okay so below x axis sorry here which is parallel to which is parallel to uh, yeah below x axis below x axis means come on let us take yeah yeah it is okay then you see below x axis or x axis only they gave right here below x axis so four units that means y is equal to k is the straight line but y is equal to minus k no here because it is below x axis below x axis means y is equal to minus k so the equation equation of straight line which is parallel to the x axis parallel to x axis at a distance at a distance at a distance of how many units four units four units below below x axis below x axis is so what do we write we can write it as y is equal to because y is equal to minus 4 yes so y plus 4 is equal to 0 this is our equation this is our second part of the equation below means negative above means positive you know that we know we easily know just uh, we follow the sign and then a uh, line equation which is parallel to x axis means y is equal to k and which is parallel to y axis means x is equal to k if you remember the three things you can you can do any kind of problem let us move to the eighth question eighth question write the equations of straight lines write the equations of straight lines parallel to y axis and at a distance of two units uh, from y axis to the right of it okay to the right of it let us take at a distance of two units from y axis so from y axis okay two units let us take one and two two units from y axis so can i consider like this so when uh, which is parallel to y axis means uh, the uh, equation form is x is equal to k and it is a right of it right of y axis right means it should be positive right so what do we write now so this is our this is our line right pq or any kind and you can give any name pq is our straight line which is at a distance of two units from y axis and it is right side of y axis okay let me write that uh, the equation equation of straight line equation of straight line parallel to y axis y axis at a distance at a distance of two units from y axis from y axis to right to right what is that this is nothing that because it is parallel to y axis that means x is equal to k and that two positive side so x is equal to can i write it as two x is equal to two yeah so x minus two is equal to zero this is our equation which is parallel to parallel to y axis in the same way, you observe the second bit at a distance five units from y axis. Five units from y axis to the left of 
to the left okay to the left of it y axis left of it okay left so if you observe to the left left of y axis so can i consider this end right because left this is right and this is left so this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 if you consider so here i am getting sorry here i am getting exactly here i am getting our line pq right this is our line which is 5 units distance from y axis and that to uh, that to left side of the y axis okay so what do we write equation of equation of straight line which is parallel to y axis at a distance at a distance 5 units from y axis to left right to left that is important left so left means x is equal to minus k right so what is that x is equal to minus 5 so x plus 5 is equal to 0 this is our equation which is parallel to which is parallel to y axis at a distance 5 units from y axis and to that to left side if you want more videos like these please download vivid brains from play store share like and subscribe thank you